stiamo cercando di trovare un modulo dove io e lui possiamo trovarci almeno uh, un, un modo per aiutare la squadra al meglio perché adesso siamo ancora in una zona dove la situazione è un po' complicata mi sarà fatta una scelta io devo continuare a lavorare e a un certo punto parliamo con Tuscio e vediamo la situazione Romelu Lukaku's career ended the day he resigned for Chelsea Calma, calma, we're just playing Given to what happened to a handful of alumni before him Rom gets nowhere near this list In this video we take a look at nine players that strutted into Stamford Bridge with their heads held up high but left through the back door with their tail between their legs It's easy to see why Chelsea broke the British transfer record to sign Fernando Torres for $79.5 million back in January 2011 He had arguably become the most fierce striker in the Premier League since joining Liverpool in 2007. Expectations were sky high but performances never got off the ground. Torres had to wait until April until scoring his first goal for Chelsea and early signs in his first full season suggested that he might have rediscovered his form. But he followed a glorious strike against United with one of the misses of the century in front of the Stretford end as well and he never really recovered. And that match really just sums up Torres' torrid time at Chelsea. The odd goal, some shocking gaffes and just a string of false dawns. Even the appointment of former Liverpool boss Rafael Benitez couldn't get him firing. Of course, by the way, we shouldn't overlook the fact that he won both of Europe's prestige competitions while he was at Chelsea. But 20 goals in 110 appearances left his reputation in tatters. When he left in 2014, he joined AC Milan on a free transfer. Crespo had already bagged over 100 goals in Serie A before he joined Chelsea in 2003. The $27 million fee looked like a good business move next to the 54 $4 million dollar fee that Lazio paid for his services. But good business it was not. Crespo managed only 19 league appearances in his first season. His 10 goal return was hardly disastrous but it didn't satisfy his employers who sent him on loan to Milan. He returned for a second bite at the Cherry in the 2005-06 season but the output remained the same. Crespo finished the season with a league winners medal but soon after he was packing that away with his other belongings because Chelsea sent him on his way. Crespo delivered one final double figure haul for Inter in 06-07 before several years of steady decline came to a muted end in Parma in 2012. I spent too little time at Chelsea. I want to have another life so I could spend more time there. Sounds like masochism, Hernan. When Chelsea signed Kepa Ariza Balaga for $93 million in 2018, they made him the most expensive goalkeeper in history. However, if things carry on as they are, they're going to make him the most expensive substitute in the world. Because Kepa has only made nine league starts since the start of the 2021 season. Life at Chelsea didn't start badly for the Spaniard, but quickly fell downhill. After conceding six against Manchester City in an EPL fixture, Kepa tried to make amends by refusing to leave the pitch in the EFL Cup final against the same opposition just a few weeks later. Amazingly, however, the young keeper wasn't sacked or demoted. But that may be due to the lack of suitable alternatives. A string of erratic performances saw the Blues install Edouard Mendy as their number one in September 2020. Kepa's lucrative seven-year contract may still see him spend the best of his years on the bench at Stamford Bridge. Shevchenko was the player Chelsea coveted since the start of the Abramovich era. At 29, he really should have been at the peak of his powers. 127 league goals in 226 appearances for AC Milan meant that his peak was very high indeed. If he was soaring like an eagle on the continent, he ended up plumbing the depths in England. His $57 million transfer yielded just 9 goals in 48 EPL fixtures. After two difficult seasons at Chelsea, he was loaned back to the Rosaneri. However, his 18 games at Milan ended without a single goal. He would make one final appearance for the Blues at the start of the 9-10 season before the club would cut their losses. Sheva returned to Ukraine where he would rediscover some of his form but not his full standing. Veron's time in the Premier League baffled onlookers who knew about his exploits abroad. A Mastro for Lazio, Argentina and Parma, much was expected of him in England. A frustrating stint at Manchester United that started in 2001 was cut short after just two seasons, 51 Premier League games and seven goals. Chelsea had offered $23.5 million for a player Man United had paid 
$45 million for. And the Red Devils accepted. Things started brightly at Stamford Bridge for Varane as he chipped in a goal against Liverpool on his debut. But that was the end of that affair. Seba managed just seven EPL appearances for the Blues and was loaned out to Inter Milan after just one campaign. Varane's time in London was so underwhelming that he would have struggled to find employment in England's lower tiers. I felt that going to Chelsea could have been a good chance for me, but I shouldn't have gone there. However, the autumn of his career actually delivered a remarkable renaissance with boyhood club Estudiantes. The little witch returned home aged 31 and casted a spell so enchanting it brought two league titles and a Copa Libertadores to the city of La Plata. Sean Wright Phillips' 2005 move from Man City to Chelsea felt like a mistake, but don't take our word for it. On the way to London, I cried like I was 12. Playing for City was a very different experience back in those days, but Sean excelled at it. In fact, he was so good that he forced his way into the England squad. League and FA Cups aside, life at Chelsea was less rewarding. In a club full of superstars, he struggled to find his place in the starting 11. In three full seasons at Stamford Bridge, he made just 43 starts and went from England starter to also run. Sean Wright Phillips returned to City in 2008, but foreign investment meant the club had changed. His time as one of the league's most exciting players was over. Suggestions that Yuri Zerkov was signed due to his nationality were unfair. When Chelsea splashed out $29 million for the Russian in 2009, he was already a UEFA Cup winner, a Euro 2008 semi-finalist, and a Ballon d'Or nominee. A versatile left-sided player, he was signed to give Chelsea options. I think he can do all the work and can play in defence and in between. Only problem was though, he couldn't get into the team. In two seasons at the bridge, he made only 16 league starts. And he was soon on his way to Anzi where he competed with Roberto Carlos for a berth on the left. League and FA Cup triumphs meant his time at Stamford Bridge wasn't a waste, but a career that degenerated into a tour of Russia's biggest clubs was probably not what he thought his future would look like when he signed for Chelsea. 25-year-old Kesman signed for Chelsea in 2005 as PSV's leading goalscorer. Snobs may say that the Edrovizi isn't a elite league, but they forgot that Ronaldo, Van Nistelrooy, and Romario all played in Eindhoven. The $9 million fee for a player that had found the net 105 times in 122 appearances looked like a steal. However, he only lasted one season and produced four Premier League goals. Chelsea recouped their outlay when he left for another drab one season stint at Atletico. He later found some form at Fenerbahce, but a disastrous move to PSG meant that he was playing in Hong Kong by 2011. Surprisingly, Kesman has no regrets of his time in the Premier League. Chelsea was the best thing in my career. Living and playing in London was something that I will never forget. Who knows, maybe he just liked the underground. I would not go back to London if they paid me a fortune in gold. Ironically, a fortune in gold is exactly what he needs to repay the $25 million the court of rule that he owes Chelsea for his misdemeanors. Mutu came to the bridge having scored 22 goals in 36 games for Palmer. I in England got off to the best possible start as he found the net in his first three games. But the goals soon dried up and he started to make headlines for his stuff off the pitch. The arrival of Jose Mourinho meant that his days were numbered. Tired of his absenteeism, he subjected the Romanian to a targeted drugs test and a positive test for saw the player sacked. Mutu's career didn't end there, however his behaviour meant that Juventus were the last big club to take a risk on him. And that was the same season they were relegated for match fixing. So there you have it, 9 players that tried and failed in West London. Feel like we're being unfair? Reckon there's a few names that we've missed? Let us know in the comments. And remember, when it comes to transfers, former glory is no indication for future success.